there will be starting our data visualization. But first, we need to check this modeling tab here. Can you see? There is no link between the two tables, that is the correlation tables and the country image, and as well as the life expectancy. And if there is any connection, we have to disconnect the link between them. So we don't want any link to be between these three tables. Can you see the correlations, image, uh, country image, and life expectancy data? Now, let's begin with our visualization. Firstly, We need to drag and drop this table, this empty table here, yeah? this table visualization. We need to drag and drop it to this um, canvas here. Yeah? How do I view this? Very simple. So once we drag this um, table visualization, so we go to the country image, country image table. The first thing we have to add there is what? The country, followed by the what? The link. So once we added the link and the what the population, we can as well rename it. Here it was link, but in this place I rename it from link to what flag. So we have to rename it. I rename it for rename for this visual. Can you see that? So that's how we got the what the flag. So once we drag and drop it, notice that the country flag was showing. That was because we copied it in our part one of the tutorial. Copied it for like the, the uh, for the particular um, flag, copy the flag URL. I think I did that in the part one of this tutorial. And we've actually changed it from normal link to what image URL. So for this to work, we have to make sure that we watch the first and the second video and make sure that our internet connection is on. So if we load the, um, the particular image, can you see that now? So that is how we created it. Then, so we did the what the top four uh, population. So now for the country, go to the country. That is, we filter it by what top n. Can you see that? So show items top four by we drag and drop the population. Can you see that? So that is the top four population for each year. So click on what apply filter. So that is what we did there. This for each year is we show the top four most densely populated country and the respective um, flag. Can you see that? So we have to add a, a few a slicer here. A year filter. Can you see that? A year slicer. Can you see that? So once I filter the year, let's say I filter it to 2008. Can you see that? We show the top four countries. It is from the top to bottom. So in 2008, it was Ethiopia followed by India, Indonesia, and Italy. So let's filter it by, let's throw down, let's say um, 2015. If we change with the corresponding flag, so we have to make sure our internet connection is on for this, um, this um, country flag to show. Because it is taken in from the website, from the Worldometer's uh, flag uh, website. Can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? Now, let me move to this um second visual here. How did I create this? It's very simple. All I what I did was I dragged this pie chart into this visual here. Then I put the words went to the uh, life expectancy data table. Then I dragged the country. And you see that drag the country. Now we notice that there is a there is a globe showing here for this country. It's very simple. It's used for mostly map. But let me show you how I did it. So you have to go to this tab here, this data tab here. So go to the left expectancy data. So click on country. Once you click on country. So click on data category. So you change it to what continent. Can you see that? So back to the visualization pane here. So you drag the pie chart. It will show the what the country to be on a legend, then values. Can you see that? So we want to know the top five country with measles. Can you see that? Drag the country to the legend and 
the measles to value. So top five, the fuel tight for the country. So top five, that is by value. So the value will be what? Mizu. They will click on what? Apply filter. Can you see that? Very simple. Can you see that? So switch on the data label. Title to top five country by measles. Can you see that? Background should be black. Can you see that? Very simple. Data colors as well. Can you see that? Simple to do. Can you see that? Ah. Let's move to the third visual, which is the word the correlation matrix. How did I create this correlation matrix? In the previous tutorial, I used the Python script on uh, Microsoft Power BI to generate this correlation matrix among the variables. So, can you see that? So, we used, I'm going to show it clearly. Can you see that? So, we dragged and dropped the table. So firstly, I'm going to have to show it very well. So we went to the correlation um, table. So label, yours might be index or anything. So mine is label for, I think yours should be obviously um index. So all you need to do first is to drag this label, followed by, can you see, these are the variables we need. So we drag them, it will show, the relationship between two variables. Can you see that? So let's say what is the relationship between um schooling and life expectancy? Can you see that? It is 0 0.75, 0 0.75. Let's say we want to know the relationship between life expectancy and alcohol, which is what? 0 0.40. Can you see that? Life expectancy and alcohol, 0. Point was a let's check for another relationship let's say what's the relationship between um hiv AIDS and life expectancy can you see that there's a negative relationship between them can you see that zero points and minus zero point five six can you see that now oh. for this dashboard we have two page so the dash one and dash two let's move to dash two now this part is simple I also displayed the alcohol consumption. So, so alcohol consumption of top five countries in the world. How did I create this? It's very simple. So I used the do not chat. Can you see that? I dragged and dropped it here. Then I went to the life expectancy data. Can you see that? So I dragged the country to the legend and alcohol values so i want to show the alcohol consumption of top five countries in the world the countries that consumes alcohol the most so then i filter it by what country so country filter should be top n so can you see that now so top five so the value is what then i drag and drop this alcohol to this value here then i click on apply filter can you see that very simple Data label and uh, detail label. I switched it on. Tight to can you see that? Alcohol consumption. This is the tight to here. Then what else? The background. I changed it towards black. Can you see that? Can you see that? It's simple. Then I also created another visual here. Now. This is a clustered column chart. So let's make it bold. Can you see that? So hepatitis B in West Africa. How many countries do we have in West Africa? I think there are over 16 or 17 or so. West Africa, uh, West African countries. So how did I create this? I dragged this clustered column chart to this um field here. So I showed in the axis, I drag the country there, then the values hepatitis B. Can you see that? Then I filtered for the country, all West African countries. So, Gambia, Cape Verde, Senegal, Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana. Can you see that? So, it shows that Gambia has the highest um, rate of um, 
advertises B in West Africa. Can you see that? Followed by uh, Cap Red. Can you see that? I think Nigeria is also among. Can you see that? So I filtered everything with the countries in West Africa. Then there is also another chart here. Which shows the, the top three HIV AIDS in West Africa. Now this this um logo showing a virus sign. This is a logo. For well, how did I do it? I went to the insert tab and clicked on image. Click on image. Then I import it here. That's how I got this um this particular logo. You can go online and download any image that you want, any PNG image that you want, any PNG image that you want. So how did I create this visual? It's very simple. So I use the word a multi row card. So firstly, I went to the life expectancy data, I added the country, then the HIV AIDS. So I filter it by country, filter type top N, this top three, then I tracked the HIV AIDS, which is the top three HIV AIDS by country. Can you see that? And I click on what apply filter. Can you see that? So it shows that Lesotho, Swazi, uh, Swaziland and Zimbabwe have the uh, highest rate of HIV AIDS in Africa entirely. Can you see that? Can you see that? Alright, thank you very much for watching the video.